Endorsement deals are part and parcel of the modern game. Signing a sponsorship deal with a major brand is a rite of passage for the athlete of today, a signal that they have arrived. And if any single athlete can claim to have arrived, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese is no stranger to helping the corporate world shift units with the use of his image. From Nike to Herbalife, EA Sports to Egyptian Steel, the 36-year-old is more than happy to lend his face to big corporations for boatloads of money in exchange. But there is one industry the five-time Ballon d'Or refuses to associate with. Big sugar. While some of his contemporaries have no problem shilling junk food, Ronaldo wouldn't be caught dead with the stuff. That the Champions League all-time leading goal scorer does not consume sugar on a regular basis should come as a surprise to nobody. His body is a temple, a finely tuned, finely chiseled machine that has kept him at the top of the world's game for nearly two decades. You don't get a body like this by gorging on Pop-Tarts on your way to training. But the washboard abbed veteran's aversion to the sweet tasting substance goes beyond his personal dietary choices. Ronaldo is on a one-man mission to eradicate the ingredient from the dining tables of the world. His latest attack on everybody's favourite soluble carbohydrate came on the eve of Portugal's Euro 2020 bow, with the reigning champions captain pointedly kicking off his pre-match press conference by replacing the two bottles of UEFA's official drink beside his mic with water. Before that, he publicly admonished his son, Cristiano Jr, for the then 10 year old sweet tooth. I'm hard with him sometimes because he he drink Coca-Cola and Fanta sometimes and he, he now I'm and I'm pissed with him. I'm I'm fight with him and when he chips and fries and everything, you know I don't like it. Even my, my small kids when they they eat chocolates, they always look to me and you know, we have to be strong. And when Ronaldo speaks, people listen. Monday's Watergate incident resulted in Coca-Cola's share price plummeting overnight. So in summary, luxury hotel chains, fine. Sugary soda pop, bad. Skincare products, fine. Fizzy syrup water, bad. Whatever the hell this is, fine. Carbonated chemical juice, bad. 